Today we're gonna to be talking about some great beach fishing baits. Squid and cut bait. So today we're gonna to do a head-to-head -head challenge. We're gonna be fishing for an hour using mackerel on one rod and our super salty squid on the other rod. So we are fishing in Cape Cod, Massachusetts right now. We have found a nice little spot that we found a lot of different kinds of species of fish. I like multi-species fishing. I like catching, I like throwing bait out and not knowing what I'm gonna catch. And these baits are perfect. Squid and mackerel are, squid and mackerel are some of the go-to baits in the Cape Cod area. Today, we are targeting whatever's gonna bite this and this. I'm not sure what's gonna bite it. I'm guessing a bunch of porgy, maybe some bluefish, um, maybe a striped bass or two. Who knows, that's the fun of the game. Let's go play. Shake it, shake it. Are you using squid or mackerel? I'm using squid right now. Squid? Yeah. All right. I like it. So for the mackerel, I'm gonna just fillet it. Oops. What happened? <laughs> the spine. This is not fresh. The meat is very soft. And generally, the fresher the bait, the better. But uh. Yeah, this doesn't look so good. See how it works. Ugh. This is why I don't buy frozen bait, guys. Really stinky. Look, it should not be just separating from the meat like that. I'm also doing a horrible fillet job because this is a dull knife <laughs> and uh, this is really soft, squishy meat. And I'm just cutting the mackerel. I'm cutting the mackerel to the size hook I'm using, which is a two aught, so I don't need it too big. Actually, chum. That'll attract some fish. I think it worked. All right, so we've got some wait, mackerel wait, bites wait, here wait, wait. on the squid. I know, he's Don't like... stop, man. Don't stop, buddy. You know? I think the squid will win. You think a squid will win? <laughs> I don't know. This is pretty stinky. I think I think this is going to attract some kind of fish. So my dad, my dad and Aaron are going to be using the squid. I'm sticking to the mackerel. Let's see how many fish we can bring up with it. I'm using the same rig we tie for the Senko Skipper Adventure Kit. Basically, in the kit, we include everything to tie these rigs um, and how to read the beach, how to catch fish on the beach. It's a nice little crash course if anybody needs help. Um, but I'm using two watt circle hooks here. I use circle hooks because they're better for the fish. All right. Let's give it a cast and see what happens. I just flung some of the mackerel off. For real? <laughs> yeah, like when I use these frozen baits, a lot of times I cast it too hard and the whole bait comes off. What I can do next time is wrap my bait in some kind of uh, elastic thread so it stays on the hook a little bit better. This one's on the mackerel. Oh, it was a crab. What? It was a big crab, like this big, a big spider crab. That munched it all off. Oh, Man. Dad's on. I'm trying the mackerel again. Ah, it's so gross. and half of it flies off when I cast it. You're having a bad time, huh?
about to just switch to squid. You have to give it a fair chance, Brendan. I am, I am. You said one hour. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that was pretty quick. Yeah. Oh, this is something decent. That's a nice size one. Wow. That's a decent one. Hold it up. Okay. Nice. Crabs didn't get to it, but look at all the bait now. Gone. Porky. All right, Aaron. Aaron is going to be using, Aaron's gonna be on this rod. I'm gonna be on the Mojo Surf right there. I got mackerel, she got squid. Let's see what's up. You're gonna win. Crazy. Look at this guy. Whoa. Put your foot next to it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty big. Well, supposedly these are a big nuisance in this area. Are you happy to catch them? I'm happy to catch them. All my bait's gone again. Wow. And I, I have like four or five pieces of mackerel left. Oh, really? So, yeah. I mean, it caught some fish, yeah. but it just goes so quick. I think your fish like were bigger. They caught them hard. Always pulled your rod. My last two pieces of mackerel. And you're still on your first two pieces of squid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't changed that. And I'm out of mackerel. Dad, did you change your squid yet? How many times did you change it? A few times. My dad's changed it a, a few times, he said. But, uh, first time I casted by... First time I accidentally casted the, 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 the mackerel off. Second time, crabs ate it. Third time, caught a fish. Ate all the, it, ate all the, it ate all the bait before I, I brought it up. And, I don't know, it's just mackerel does not stay on very long. And this is not very fresh, so I, I don't think this is a good representation of using fresh mackerel. Fresh bait is always better than, than frozen bait. Freshly frozen bait's good too, but the bait that I got was, was really mushy. It was no good. I missed it. I missed it. What was that? I don't know. I mean, it works pretty much as soon as I throw it, but I bet you there's no bait on there anymore. Are you on? Yeah. Oh. 
My mackerel rod. I don't. I don't think. I think it's all gone. Oh, your bait? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Nothing. It, initially, I casted it. Something ate it for a second. Uh, I didn't set the hook, and now nothing's even touching it. So I'm pretty sure it's gone. Scup. Look at that. Bait's still on here. This is your first piece of squid. <laughs> I haven't done much fishing yet though. This is our focus on those. This is our first piece of squid on here. I'm gonna put a little I'm, instead of macro, since I'm out of macro, I'm just gonna use squid. <laughs> this is reliable. More reliable. Take the chunk. Feed it through. Trim it up. That's one. This one I'm gonna cut in half. A little bit thinner. And do the same thing. This is why I like the chunks, because I can cut it up to whatever shape I want. Now this is, this is on a much bigger hook, so hopefully I'll be able to catch a bigger fish with this. So oh, maybe that's why you were catching bigger fish in general on the macro. Remember? Oh yeah, maybe. Hi. On. What is it? There you go there, pick it up. All right, Ooh. girl. She got another one. Missed it on camera, but she got it. Here's video proof. <laughs> Show the camera video proof you got it. There you go, good job. Video proof, I need pliers. Video proof. Okay guys, we just dropped the camera and she's a little upset, it's okay. We're both a little upset. But, look at that. And look at that, smile on her face. Fishing helps you solve all your problems. This thing is incredibly strong for a little porgy. Right, aren't they? For this species of fish, I bet you it's a little porgy. They fight like a sheep's head. Yeah, I agree. They look like it too, right? Oh man, look at that. Oh! Wow. Wanna keep it? Huh? Man. Looks like a sheep's head too, kind of. Yeah. All right, we're taking this guy home. Comment below your favorite recipe for porgy. <laughs> Whoa, two! <laughs> They're heavy, they're both so big. Oh 
Oh man. Those are nice ones. Alright, looks like squid wins, huh? I think so. In my opinion. Wow, these are seriously heavy fish. Dang, Aaron. That's a nice one. And two of them. This one's like really, really quite big. <laughs> nice. Alright, give him a kiss. I was scared it was gonna bite my lips. <laughs> nice. Yep. Good job, Aaron. Thank you. Time to cast out again. Whoa, who got a double? On the squid. Oh my gosh. Good shot, good shot. I'm telling you guys, this squid works for a lot of different species. I had no idea it would work so well for here. So here's our conclusion, guys. The mackerel worked great. The squid worked great. However, the mackerel did not stay on the hook very well. I would cast it off and it would fly off. Crabs would bite it off. Every time the fish bites the, the mackerel, it's, it's really easy for it to get the, the bait off. Um, whereas the squid, we, we used one piece for a long time. The mackerel was kind of gross. I didn't like filleting it. This had to do with it being uh, frozen and not very fresh. Um, but most of the time I buy frozen fish, it, this is the same story. It's really mushy, it's really gross. Um, don't like to handle it. This squid, you can try for yourself. It's in the link in the description below. Get yourself a couple of packs of these and a surf fishing adventure kit and you're good to go for the day of fishing. Our job here at Senko Skipper is to help you guys get on fish and we really truly stand by that. We've developed all these products to help you guys as much as we can. This guide right here answers all the questions, a lot of questions that people have been asking us, a lot of questions that I wish I knew as a beginner. Um, if you want to read the PDF, that's available in the link in the description as well. Um, but I'm going to get going, watch the sunset with Aaron, uh, do a little bit more fishing. Sayonara, guys.